transitions happening to the nth degree. It was the switch call out, both Forkwit and Miles were gorgeous, but now it's gonna be a whole different game that Super Armor not gonna do you quite as much good if you just get grabbed. Yeah, it is the new dawn of a Dune day right now. Miles up against Guy Guy, and this is going to be such an intense set. Both of these players have very aggressive styles. They love to play in that CQC kind of range, especially with the buttons with Luigi and Yoshi in hand. And I really wonder who's just gonna blow up in like the first interaction. Luigi, I mean, Guy Guy, we already know that phenomenal combo game, but Miles. Once he keeps up a chase, you might just get deleted in seconds. For sure. What really Ooh. stands out to me, though, isn't Guy Guy's combo game. It's the way this man plays neutral, finds reversals, and is able to create extra opportunities for himself compared to other Yoshi or Ooh. Luigi's. We out. He's, even though Miles was able to use the double jump armor and find his way out of that cyclone, on, right, most Luigi's wouldn't have found that opportunity to even begin with. Yeah, the Luigi neutral in question, but you know, but we have the Yoshi advance in question. Forward air to the up air. Beautiful stuff from Miles now. Looking to rack up the extra credit. Trying to get it from these back airs, but we might get a stock here. Yep. Down throw to the tornado. That is going to be the business again. Like we see. Keeping it nice and even, maybe. And I love the drift in and then the cross up back with the cyclone there to call out Miles. It'll catch him slipping on the DI a little bit. Now it's going to be Guy Guy trying to find any way in Snivy. But Ooh. Miles is just ready. He is playing so on point with his reactions. We've seen Miles play hot before, but never like he's playing tonight. Yeah, I mean, what you air dodging for? Putting the fear in God God right now. This is Miles, one of Westchester's finest in the biz. And New York, possibly, yes, going off the top, off the down air. Snivy, you can SDI that, but he could not find it there. Guy Guy has been teaching people that all night, but when it matters most, he came up short on his own Ooh. secret tech. Now, I tried to get the craziest reversal off that Nair into the forward air and try to pluck him up, too. This That's might be Guy Guy. Oos. No, Yoshi's a big-ass boy, dude. Nah, yeah. Yoshi, you know, still hanging around town for a little while longer. And it's going to be very scary for Guy Guy if he's not able to get it off. But there he goes. Tor no, Tornado. Yeah, those big PS2 blast zones letting everyone's favorite dino live Oos. another day. Miles looking for the Nair to trap the eye, and it loses his stock for it. Rare miscalculation from him the way he's been playing tonight, but right now it is just going to be can Guy Guy find the one, two hits he needs, opts for just some chip damage instead, realizing, hey, Miles is not giving me a grab all set, why would he start now? And we're seeing the pace of the game slow down as Miles knows that, hey, I might be at 40, but Oof. this is Luigi, not going to matter though, because that forward air, that big old head, going to close it out, my friend. That noggin. Definitely gonna be knocking you up into the blast zone, all right. But oh man, that, that was such an incredible start to the set already. Miles up the first game. But the good old Yosh. I love some good old Yosh. Yoshi. Yeah, remember, I always think back to the Yoshi's Island Yoshi. Arise thing. Where I just brought like the, the entire ensemble. I brought my Yoshi Bro, children and everything. Where are my kids? Where are they? I took you, the you kids. You stole my kids from I, me. I took the kids. You took the kids in the divorce and you didn't tell me? I also took the egg that you didn't know about. Wait, you stole the egg from- I did stole the egg. You stole Reggie's egg? Yes, I stole I stole Reggie's egg, bro. Hey, Reggie, if you're watching, if you're watching, now we know where it went. So that's why they had to move the next alpha from the meta venue over to Brooklyn. Yeah, and that's why I we're see. moving on to small battlefield. You know, take away the PS2 last stones, take away that big stage. We want a nice fight here. And I know Guy Guy's trying to fish for a lot of his starters in the neutral here. We're not seeing the fireballs and the plungers in question. We're kind of just like throwing out a bunch of these small stubby normals. Yeah, awkward. he wants to take advantage of the fact that we're seeing this very slow egg-based gameplay from Miles, right? I, Miles has been giving him space and he wants to take advantage of that and if he's trying to contest a slow pace of play with his own slow pace of play, Yoshi just is going to do it better with him, right? That air drift, the heavier weight, egg being a better projectile, he can just keep you out for days. But if you actually just try and rush in on him, it can get scary fast. Yeah, and I know it gets scary real fast when Miles gets like the one neutral air and he just kind of takes it to the bank. But Guy Guy putting him in disadvantage right now, trying to get the kills off these back airs. You give Miles any chance to breathe. He may just slide in there with a good old up smash, good old something, but no Guy Guy still keeping Miles at bay with the F tilts, with the everything, and trying to cover with the tornado too. Not and, gonna work out. And that was so smart using the ground pound there on that down special, just the slight air stall to find the stock. But Miles getting caught DIing up there off the neutral air, gonna lose his game for it. Down a stock now, but not out by any means without no extra credit to Guy Guy's name. He has to find his way off this ledge if he really wants to open this one up. 7% not gonna cut it. 
but is doing a much better job here on a smaller stage, Ooh. even walling out Miles. He has not been able to find a way in at all this game compared to the dynamic openings he was able yeah, to Yeah, it really seems time. that like being down against Guy Guy, just being down Luigi in general is kind of hell because he just gets to play that game that kind of walls you out with the fireballs, with the plungers, and like, yes, he's using like that forwarder to mix it up, which is what I really like. And Oos trying to get the conversion off the down so wasn't able to get it. And this might be Miles trying to get the retaliation, trying to uh, hang around down for the egg snipes, but no, Guy Guy still making it back. Jeez, man. Miles saving that jump to the last second there, allowing him pressure with the eggs. Even though Guy Guy made it back, right, he wasn't able to get back on the stage as Miles closed it out, but the down throw to the super jump punch. Punch, he's been conditioning that DI in the whole time by opting for the DI out Cyclone coverage and finally cashes oh that God. one in for a stock here in game number two. Miles a full one down, Snivy, but not out of this one yet. Yeah, I saw Miles was already trying to set up into that forward air spike. I'm just immediately wanting to get back into the set. But I, we already know, as a reminiscent of that second stock that Miles had, Gaga is going to play this nice wall-out game, get those damage in with those normals and everything like that. And look at this. Might be gaming for a stock. Yes, he got the down throw, but we mixed it up with the back here. Still racking up that damage. Miles is one or two interactions away from potentially going down in this game. Man, he just tried to, tried to find the egg light off stage against know. Luigi. Didn't find its mark. You can see at the end there, Miles was like... My back's against the wall. This, this guy doesn't just have a plunger and some sick dance moves. He also has kill power out the wazoo. So I just need to find something cheesy quick. When he couldn't find it, that was all she wrote. But there is still one more game. It's going to be Miles' counterpick, too. And after kind of getting a little bit uh, washed on a bigger sta on a smaller stage, and playing pretty dominantly on a larger one, I'd expect that we see a return to something with a little bit more space here Ooh. for the Yoshi of many colors as we head back to PS2. Yeah, I definitely like the pink pick here. It works out very vibrant color. We got the happy vibes all around. It's Pride Month. Yeah, it's definitely Pride Month. You'll switch up that rainbow. Let's see it, baby. Yeah, shout out to shout out to Miles for wrapping all our hearts and souls with the rainbow Yoshi. We appreciate you, Miles, and we also appreciate you getting this extension as well, but unfortunately wasn't able to get it. Scuttle Shuffle, you'll wait to the corner, dash attack, hold the damage just a little bit, and Guy Guy's still trying to hang around for those poke ints to try and just get these starters, and there you go, you find oh it! Oh my god, Snivy. Every time Guy Guy hits up tilt super jump punch, you, th you think it won't shock you anymore. Nobody else does it, yet it still does. He finds... He, that's what we were talking about game one, right? He just finds so many extra opportunities with this character. And he's really put, forcing Miles back against the wall here, here because he's losing these stocks at such low percentage. He can't set up. He can't juggle in the way he wants to. And it's just giving Guy Guy so many extra opportunities. Yeah, but Ooze, yeah, Ooh. gets kill off the up air there. Well, that DI was not there either. Yeah, that was the suspect DI in question. Guy Guy trying to get a nice starter, but Miles definitely not wanting Guy Guy to have any room to get anything started right now. Tried to go for the up reversal, wasn't able to get it. 8-2 up airs for his trouble, and hold on, we're riding that rainbow ride right now. Getting up this chase and try to end it all with a forward air, but no. Bro, I respect that because you either get the sweet spot there or the sour spot, and even the sour spot's gonna put him almost to the blast zone, set you up for a great position to edge your guard. Miles' egg lay usage, every Yoshi loves to do it around the edge of platforms, but his is so unique because of the conversions he finds afterwards. He's so such an expert at conditioning your DI in that button and then finding his fadeaways drift around in circles. He loves that drift around the platform to try and come back and reversal you. But so far, Guy Guy's been able to adapt, lock that down, but these double eggs off ledge are just starting to spell trouble. Yeah, they are really destroying Guy Guy. They're just tacking a little percentage, Ooh, no. but Oos, keep on mashing, keep on slapping your hearts away. And that's going to be stock for Gaga here and now playing real nice with the lead. We've already seen it in the previous two games with just the plungers, the fireballs in question, those spare dares. Looking for the one to kind of just connect to get that damage extension. But like you said before, Miles playing so well with these eggs, trying to condition Gaga, not making him any have any room. Ooh. Well, that whole edge guard sequence from Miles was insane. He went so far out there, then arced his way around. And almost found the egg snipe to seal things out as well. Gave himself so many opportunities, but unfortunately they all came out clutch. Somehow Guy Guy's become untouchable, but the up air finds its mark, Snivy. One stock apiece, 
32% is all that separates this even game. One stock left. Who is going to find it their way into winner's finals? And who's going to go down into the brutal loser's bracket below? Right now, it's looking like Guy Guy because he just needs one down throw conversion to the up B. One tornado. Just rack up that percentage to get Yoshi up to 100 right now. But all oh, no. Miles need Oh, was almost it, but not quite in that threshold. But Miles really just needs that one Nair, that one interaction to put Guy Guy, Guy in the corner, just loop that pressure, get those damage rolling. Well, We're trapping in the edge that, still. And then the extra grab as well. He's out of percent, but Miles getting caught. You see all there. Dealing in, in up and slightly out. But then at the end, you saw he popped out a hit stun just before the cycle and started mm -hmm. to drift in. And that's really what got caught out by that cyclone there. It was a the Moto. Win. It was yo, the win. And I'm the Waffle, the man. waffle man. Yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> I'm Ritual. This. this is Syndicate Snivy. What's up, My goat everybody? Uh, here on the mic. Fuzzy Pickles Molto here. And, oh, man. Uh, my boy Jackal lost in the first of five. And I'm so sad, man. Yeah, but uh, but uh, who's still on winner's side? It's Jackal. Yeah. And uh, who's, Jackal? who's down on losers? Uh, not Quid's fault. Yeah, but uh, he's gonna. He, he, gave, might, he gave him a homie set. He's on the path now set. to possibly end up in a rematch against Miles. Oh my god! Right? Ooh, that might happen. That might be a saucy, a saucy set, my friend. And if it is, well, we're gonna do our best to try and bring it to you folks here as Snivy checking out the bracket for the moment. Yeah, we have Emerilis and the John Mark playing it out, and oh man, Ooh, wait, John, Bayonetta. John Mark made it all the way back. After winner in losers round one or two, right? Yeah. Or in winners round one or two, losing to Geist in a banger set that he almost took. Yeah. He was this close, it folks. Was so and close. I was watching, I was popping off in the back. You know what everybody. else is close, Nivy? Encore. This month, we're gonna have a month the monthly here on June twenty fourth. Doors open at two, doubles is at four, singles is at six PM. Y'all should pull up because I'm going to be real. Encore 200 is just the start of the amazing events we've got coming up. Yeah, that first of five definitely kicked off a banger summer. And CEO is also happening that weekend, so we will most likely have it on in the venue. So, Snivy, what awesome. I'm hearing hearing is that uh, you're dodging. Uh, of course I'll be dodging. But here's what you shouldn't dodge, which is defend the norm happening July 14th hey, to the 16th. Snivy, are you going to be there? Um, potentially. I'm trying to be there too. Well, you I'm also trying to be and there. And folks, you should also try to be there. They've got. They're gonna have Smash Ultimate, Guilty Gear Strive, Tekken, Street Fighter, Bla Blaze Blue, 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 Blue,
Oh my god, the dream world. The dream world. Oh, oh my god, you're throwing me world. back. You're throwing me back to 2000. And this is my black and white to his peak. It's yeah. really me. You know black and white are 10 years old this year? Or 13? I'm right, so let's old. Do the two. Black and white 2 are 10 years old this year. I'm so old. 10 years old. I'm so old. I'm only 22. I'm so old, man. Wait, you're 22? I'm yes. 22. That's crazy. Wait, what? Hold on. What? You turned 22 this year? Uh, I turned 22 this year. Oh, well, I turned uh, 22. Yeah, 2001, year. child. You're younger than me. See ya. That's crazy. Get oh, out of here.